So today I am back yet with another watermelon eyeshadow look. I asked you guys on a poll on my Instagram what kind of shades you want to pick for me. And yeah, someone has replied and gave me some inspo. But not only that, this is the exciting part. So I had a lovely package delivered to me today and we've got some more watermelon stuff. This is the new watermelon range from I Heart Revolution. I already had the palette, um, so I don't know what to do with the other palette because this is fair. But yeah, I'm gonna test out all the other stuff that they've got. So they've got Tasty Watermelon Lip Glosses, they've got a Lip Scrub Tasty Watermelon, every Tasty Watermelon. We've got a lip mask. We've also got a Tasty Watermelon Highlighter. We've got the mascara, and not only that, we've got a face product as well. We've got the primer so i'm gonna test all this out on my face as well doing as well as doing another eyeshadow look the tasty watermelon is in my top tasty favorites um i did a look on this the other day yeah it's a lovely surprise that revolution's kindly gifted me that like i wasn't even gonna purchase the collection i mean i was eyeing on it but i thought to myself i didn't really need it because I don't know, I'm just trying to lay off makeup for a bit. But it's really nice to be greeted with some new Tasty Watermelon stuff, so thanks again. Um, but yeah, if you're interested to see how all the face products, lip glosses, and um, lip stuff work on my face today, then carry watching. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so I think we should start off with the Watermelon primer so this is 10 pounds so oh, i love the look of this okay this is really weird right i really like watermelon but i don't like the smell of it so i feel like this scent is gonna put me off but yeah i really like the packaging it's so cute like how fun does that look I love the detail in there. It's got like the pips in there as well from the watermelon. I'm just gonna read what it says in the brief. So give your skin a healthy, hydrated, a dewy finish all while smelling of fresh watermelon. So this is gonna be a dewy finish onto the skin before you uh, before you put your foundation on. I must admit, I have tried the Tasty Avocado Primer Oil and I wasn't a fan of that. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be really greasy on my skin and hopefully it's refreshing and cool. So let's give this a go any day oh wow that's actually really cute it's got like a pink color to it i don't think it smells that watermelon more watermelony i know the lip glosses definitely give off a watermelon scent but i don't think the primer does it does smell fresh let's put this on Oh, that feels really cool to the skin. I love cooling primers, especially in this heat. It's what we need. But yeah, my face is looking glowy, dewy, let's say. But yeah, that feels really fresh onto the skin. Got a cooling effect, I like that. But it all matters on how the foundation sits on it, but yeah got a dewy skin going on okay so i'm gonna try out some lip scrub so this is the watermelon lip scrub and this costs five pounds and the lip mask costs five pounds as well so let's try out this lip scrub oh yeah that proper smells like watermelon not a huge fan of the scent that's just me but you are getting a proper watermelon scent i don't know why but i just find it weird like i love watermelon like to eat but to smell I just don't like it. It makes me feel sick of it. So yeah, that is just me. But that's what it looks like. How cute is this? So it's in like the same container as what the chocolate scrub came in. Let's give this a go. Oh, if it's gonna taste like watermelon. I don't know if it will. Hmm. Oh wow, it comes off really pink. Red. Yeah, it does taste like watermelon, slightly. It t tastes like sugar, let's be real. Um, yeah, but it's a good scrub, it feels good. Mm. Very abrasive onto the lip. I wonder if this will plump him. So it says, get luscious, juicy lips in an instant with this watermelon lip care duo. I love a bit of lip care, 
but honestly that feels so good wow that feels amazing i wonder if the chocolate one feels like that i just look like i've eaten some lollipops <laughs> um i just need to wipe that off yeah it does come off as you can tell it does leave a stain yeah my lips feel fresh well not fresh they look quite smooth as well right let's look at the lip mask so this is going to be very similar to the chocolate one i've got oh oh hmm I think the scrub had more of a watermelon scent than this one. Yeah. Can't really tell the scent on this. Very nourishing onto the lips. Very moisturising, I'd say. Yeah, good little duo. Um, I'm just going to let it do its thing whilst I do my eyeshadow. Okay, so I've, I really like how it's made my lips look. Hmm, looks juicy. Okay, so moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use the P. Louise base. So into this palette, someone suggested me to use the shade, um, what is it? Sunshine, Melonade, Splash, Fresh. Those four shades. I have done a pink and blue look with this palette and I've also done two other looks as well. I'll try to link them down below so you can see more looks, um, what I've done with this palette, but yeah. I just think there's so many funky colours in this palette. So we're going to do, oh, what shall I go in first? I feel like I want to go, feel like I want to go in splash first. I haven't played with red eyeshadow in such a long time. Yeah, let's just see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to start off with splash and just throw that on the outer corner. See what that's like. Oh, I don't know why, but I get really nervous doing red eyeshadow. I have no idea why. Yeah, I'm just working this through the outer corner crease. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna go in is Melonade. So we're gonna put that on the middle of the lid, I'd say. Yeah. And I feel like it blends too much into the red. So I'm going I am going to put another base down. Um just so it's quite there hopefully when i put this base down the orange can go on it good so it's like that and then hopefully the orange melonade can go on slightly better yes i will take a hint okay i'm gonna cheat a bit but i want to take a hint of picnic just to lighten up that orange hopefully because it's a bit brighter, yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into Splash and just hopefully close off that edge a bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the yellow. Um, I might put more base down, just a tiny bit on the inner corner, just hopefully that yellow will pop up more. So I'll take more of that base. Honestly, this P. Louise base is so handy. Um, highly recommend. And then we can go into that yellow. So the yellow is sunshine. Oh, that pops off quite well. And that goes on very nice. Hopefully that grades. grades. Hopefully that gradually goes into the melanade shade, which it does. And then at this point, I'll go in with Splash again and Melanade, just to hopefully get that gradient going. So that is what we're looking like so far. I am gonna take Splash and just put it on the lower lash line. I'm using a really tight, thin brush for this. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with Sunshine 
and put that on the in a corner. The person wanted me to use this colour fresh. Now I just need to see what it looks like. Oh, that looks really nice, that does. Now where can I put that? I don't want a lot of it, so I'm gonna take a really big fluffy brush so it looks quite dispersed. And I'm just gonna place this on top. Hopefully giving it a bit of a shimmer look to it. So it's nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna take a little detail fluffy brush and just blend that slightly there and around here. And there we go. I think I might put a bit of eyeliner on. Um, just my Ciarte London Wonder Wand. I'll put that in the, I'll just tight line that into my lash line. I hate doing this part, but I always think it looks quite effective, so. Okay, so that is all I'm gonna do in my eye. I'm just gonna go on the other side, do the other eye, and we can just carry on the rest of my makeup. We've got the lip glosses to try, highlight it, and the mascara. You know what? I'm actually liking how this foundation sits on. The primer. This I prefer over the Tasty Avocado Oil any day. This watermelon primer. Absolutely prefer this over the avocado one. Um, I did not get on with the avocado one, but this is just really nice. It looks really dewy, like it states. Um, looks very nice, yeah. My my foundation looks very skin-like. It's, it's not clumped in any areas. Yeah, I do like this formula with the foundation I've got on. It just looks really nice. It looks healthy, yeah. Quite enjoy that primer and I'll definitely keep on using it. Okay, so on to the highlighter. So how much is this? This is the 3D Watermelon Highlighter. This costs six pounds and it says, looks and smells good enough to eat. Swirl two sweet shades together for a fresh, a glowing finish. So oh, I've got the Tasty Strawberry Highlighter. I, find that, I think that's the only Tasty highlighter I've got. So this is what it looks like. How adorable. So, can't get that watermelon scent though. So they said just swish everything together, but I don't know how I feel about a blue highlighter. Let's just do it anyway. Ooh. Okay, let me just... Ah, okay, so you're not gonna get the blue as such. It's just a very nice glow. Okay, I really need more of a dense brush for this. So let's swirl it again. That's pretty. I thought it was gonna be like blue, but that's actually quite pretty. Yeah, it is quite on the powdery side. Um, it's not my favourite highlighter from My Heart Revolution, but it's it's okay. It's a lot better than I expected. I thought it was going to be like a bluey highlighter tint, but I'm surprised it's not given off a blue tint in my opinion. It's quite pink, which I do like. Pink's not my favourite type of highlighter, but it's fine, yeah. Right, I think it's very cute. Okay, so onto these lip glosses. So, I think I've got two. Yeah, I've got two lip glosses to try. I've got a clear one and a pinky one. So these lip glosses cost four pounds each. Tempt your taste buds with these ultra juicy lip glosses with a refreshing watermelon scent, available in five juicy shades. So the shades I've got is, oh, Oh, it says oil infused watermelon lip gloss. Okay. I actually don't know what shades I've got. Oh, I think this one says splash. And this one says melonade. So I'm gonna use a bit of that lip mask just to create the base of the color. And then we can go with the lip gloss because I do like the color of this lip mask. It's a cute color that is. And you know what, this is fresh. We don't need to go in the lip liner. Very quick and easy. 
yeah this has got a really strong watermelon scent and I don't like I don't like the scent of it but like I said that's just me but I'm just gonna ignore the scent and just see how it looks so it's not gonna give off a straight away color because it is a gloss but it does feel like a lip oil yeah it's oil infused yeah it does feel like a lip oil it reminds me a lot of the Astro Cats Marie lip gloss I don't know it's just a lip gloss at the end of the day I wouldn't say you need it really because I mean that is nice that is a nice gloss you can get lip glosses literally everywhere from any drugstore mmm this is really juicy though it is nice I wouldn't say it's a necessity but it's nice to pop in your handbag and I assume the splash exactly the same it's just in a clear formula you can see that just gonna be clear so we're looking very juicy let's get on with the let's get on with the mascara so this mascara costs five pounds so it says your lashes will want a taste of this the fiber brush will catch every lash for full juicy and volumized lashes plus it's waterproof making it a must-have for summer yes i do like a good waterproof mascara especially when it's like sweaty so let's just curl them first apparently this has got like a tight brush this is what a mascara looks like quite a thin wand now i had really good experience with the tasty avocado mascara i've used all of that up so i can imagine this is just going to be the same and just as good but waterproof i mean my lashes are very straight so it's not gonna be a lot going on but already I'm liking it so far it feels like as you combing it through it gets thick and thicker like but yeah I like this wand it's getting every single lash I mean my lashes are like nowhere to be seen I'd say it's opened up my eyes this mascara it's quite thickening it is quite volumizing yeah i can feel it grabbing onto the lashes which is nice so it's a bottom lash like yeah i like it's a bottom lash yeah i really rate this mascara it's a nice mascara this is uh, i'm building it up loads with me i do this with every mascara i just pile on the coats it's like proper grabbing hold of them you know what i prefer this mascara over the benefit magnet what i've tried So these are what the lashes look like and uh, yeah, highly rate this mascara, definitely going in my July favourites, no, June favourites, definitely going in my June favourites. You know what, I'm really impressed with the majority of stuff in here, even that primer, I really like that primer. So guys, here's a completed look using the full Tasty Watermelon range, I really like the primer love the mascara i already love the palette i already had it i've done loads of loops with it so that's no shock and i do like the lip glosses and the highlighter the highlight is okay i'm pleasantly surprised i actually didn't think i was gonna like this because i thought it was gonna give off a blue tint but looking at it now it's giving off a really nice pinky glow and i do like a pinky glow highlighter um still i do prefer that golden highlighter but i still do like a pink highlighter yeah, I wouldn't say the highlighter smells of watermelon. It smells quite rubber. <laughs> but um, yeah, the only thing I'd say you probably don't need out of this collection is possibly the lip glosses. Only because you can get lip glosses literally anywhere and it's just a gloss at the end of the day. But I must admit, it does feel really nice on the lips. It's like that oil um, formula. Um, but yeah, oh God, I almost forgot. These just putting the palette aside i've already tried that but new products out of this collection that i really do like and that stands out for me is definitely the primer the mascara the lip mask and lips scrub duo i really like this lip scrub i think i prefer it over my jeffree star and i don't even like watermelon what is that 
like smile up and go my Um, but yeah. I'm impressed, I'm impressed, honestly. So if you got this far to the video, do let me know in the comments what you think of this new collection from I Heart Revolution. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. And yeah, let me know what you think of this makeup look as well. Um, we're going for a fiery, warm tone, sunset eye I'd say, perfect for summer. Um, but yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well if you don't wanna miss out on future I Heart Revolution videos. I do a lot of makeup tutorials with the palettes. So if that's something you're interested in, there you go. But yeah, other than that, hope you have a lovely day, night or time watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.